Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Keep in mind this is a weekend love reading. Some messages may or may not be for you. Take what fits, leave the rest. And if you would like to get a personal reading with me, there's an August discount. Just click the link in the description box below the video and you can go right ahead and book your reading. All right. So let's take a look and see what is going on for this weekend. You're starting with heart to heart conversation, playfulness, and codependency. Okay, so let's look at heart to heart conversation. And this is about expressing your feelings to each other. <clears throat> so let's take a look and see. Um, definitely an energy of talking, sitting down and talking, expressing how you and another person truly feel about each other. Okay. There's a desire for a conversation to take place. All right. Let's see. Oh, wow. Yeah. Huge change happening here on, especially Friday. Um, let's see. too many cards okay queen of swords is here so that's definitely communication um somebody's going to be really opening up telling the truth in that queen of swords energy um you know the queen of swords isn't exactly the most emotional <laughs> of signs but there is total honesty happening here okay so there could be a connection with an air sign let's see Okay, so there is something here about getting together, uh, discussion about getting together. Now, this may be over the weekend, or this could just be in general, um, having a reunion. <clears throat> so I do feel like something's, there's the winds of change. Something is in the air here where um, there's going to be some honest discussion. There may be communication um, where one person is asking another if they are dating other people or if they are um, with their friends this weekend or if they wish to get together with a bunch of friends as well. Okay, let's see. Maybe go to the casinos, do some gambling, um, take a trip maybe or go for a drive. Let's see. I want to clarify the Wheel of Fortune because this feels like somebody also <laughs> is hoping to get lucky. I mean, okay. Let's see what else is happening here. Okay. Wow, look at this. Ace of Swords. Definitely more communication coming through. And the Page of Swords. Okay. Somebody's really curious to know some more over this weekend. Okay. Um, trying to get some answers to bring clarity. Um there's someone who, like I said, wants to know if they're also, in, if they're flirting or if they're hanging out with other people um, or if they, yeah, a lot of questions. I feel like I, this page of swords, it really doesn't give me a vibe of somebody spying. I don't really feel that it could be somebody's trying to find out if another person is um, talking to other people or um, trying to get some answers if there's... I don't feel like infidelity, um, but it's more like if there's other people in another person's life, if there's any other interests, um, flirtation, having a good time, that kind of thing. So for some of you, there is that energy um, playing out here, trying to get some truth, mostly because of all this sword energy um, about other people or about somebody's friends. Um, and really just, I feel like somebody wants truth definitely and want someone to be open and honest with them about how they feel about the other person okay so you know as usual that could be you it could be another person or both of you just kind of having this conversation you know um are, well, are you dating anyone are you seeing anyone and vice versa so i'm also picking up specifically i did say um aquarius libra gemini um Taurus, Leo, and Scorpio. So I do feel there could be someone asking you out or you asking another person out on a date or about getting together over the weekend. Okay. Um, so you might have like a 
a little something something happening here over the weekend for sure some of you might be like it, so there could be an energy too for some there is an energy but it could be for some of you where some there's making plans also for the weekend but this heart to heart really feels like on a romantic sense and a love sense this is all about the feels so either somebody's reaching out to you over this weekend sending you a message asking if you um if you're involved or if you're with anyone or if you're if you're seeing anybody could be somebody new as well so there's a lot of air energy uh, dominant air energy so i do feel that is playing out here over the weekend um and this is also about trying to overcome some problems so communication definitely about trying to overcome like how do we fix something okay how do we fix this or how do i fix this how do i make this these changes so that we can come back together like there's a heart to heart okay so let's move forward you've got playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine okay so playful definitely strongest on saturday but can be for the whole weekend let me take a look here oh yeah somebody's feeling really sad definitely down in the dumps knight of cups here <clears throat> let's see i feel like um somebody's sad because another person won't come out to play or won't accept a love offer there's grief here someone has regret oh i'm also hearing someone has regret for playing games and not offering um you know the real love offer here let's see okay so we do have leo energy showing up here so it could be a leo um someone is sad regretful remorseful um about not having the courage to come forward and make the proposal um the proposal of exclusivity a proposal of true love um getting into a very romantic somebody might have just been playing um or just having fun or having a good time and not taking something further and i feel like it had a, a lot to do with lack of courage and strength also self-confidence okay um let me see here a bunch of cards wanted to flip out i just heard someone could be on the cusp of virgo and libra okay oh yeah see this is right um somebody was just trying to have some fun okay and sneaking around and being deceptive and just playing and they somebody it's either you or this person but i do feel there's an energy of like extreme regret and remorse yep yep someone feel feels pretty bad about oh yeah oh my gosh i can't even believe it could be another virgo could be someone who's on the cusp of leo virgo or you are but there's definitely this like oh man someone there was a breakup or a separation someone's feeling like tremendous amount of guilt they're really reflecting um how they how, how someone's reflecting how they screwed up yeah there was a beautiful opportunity here to move something forward friendship friends and lovers healing energy there was a soulmate connection here and uh yeah someone's just kicking themselves for it feels like for not taking the relationship to the next level okay so will there be an offer possibly there could be an apology as well to try to come back together and you know get past this heartbreak or an argument that might have happened i feel like somebody's really going within and reflecting on this um especially especially on saturday okay let's take a look at sunday so there's codependency here addictions are affecting someone's romantic life all right let's see um also this could be with another virgo as well okay so two of swords knight of oh wow knight of swords 
seven of wands oh my gosh um someone's breaking free from some kind of an addiction either codependency or other addictions over this weekend <clears throat> there's a decision to make a lifestyle change here definitely and i feel like someone's fighting back against bad behavior or negative thinking and taking that risk and like taking off with the fool definitely um someone feels like they've been a complete fool for wasting time um there will be some communication you will hear from someone who um i feel like will tell you it could be an aquarius um who will tell you that they are you know starting this new journey they they're going to take a chance they're going on this taking a new path in life um going on this like having a new beginning a new start starting over like a child <laughs> starting life again um away from codependency away from some addictions okay i just want to get a clarifying card for the fool wow yeah <clears throat> no more for some it's no more drinking turning down the drink so you know i don't know if that might have an uh, attachment to you in some way but it feels like someone is like freeing themselves from either the drink or you know whatever kind of medicine is in that cup or these this it could be someone has an addiction to um maybe they're a love addict and um saying no to um hmm, kind of feels like you know how we had the three of cups up here well, look at those three cups there okay that tells me um it could be the same person too where um this they're looking at how they've lived their lives with just always having fun always having a good time um always celebrating hanging out with friends you know and ignoring love ignoring true love which is that ace of cups right there okay and i feel like someone's breaking free especially from friends or the people that just want to party and have fun and have a good time and um I don't know if someone just feels like they have to be with these people or they have to be with these friends or these these people who just i feel like no matter what it is this person is like getting rid of these people um definitely making a life having making or having a lifestyle change and pushing back um against <clears throat> it almost feels like this someone that just I don't know if it's that they can't say no or they feel obligated to these people or this addiction or this whatever this thing is this is like a total 180 lifestyle change i feel like someone's breaking away from all of this energy okay um so i don't know if that will resonate for you um it could be you virgo as well um going against the grain or it could be this person but there's definitely a major shift and starting with the wheel of fortune this is like all going in a good direction here lots of change uh, let me get a couple other messages here and see what else you need to know for the weekend okay so not enough frustrated in a relationship lack of confidence self-sabotage fear ego issues jealousy someone's not feeling good enough um or good enough for a relationship or feeling frustrated with a relationship at this time um then there's also cupid's arrows um but despite all this having faith okay that love is coming and love is going to happen and things will get better um, or a relationship will heal and get better there's also a surprise invitation or a meeting so i feel like that energy relates mostly to uh friday okay and going through the weekend where like i was saying there's some type of communication and there's some type of like asking you out or asking to meet or wanting to connect um have a reunion of some sort okay could be with friends it could be a lover and the not enough card kind of gives me this sunday energy because with that codependency i feel like whoever this person is down here never truly felt like they were good enough um i also feel like um they're frustrated in their relationships that they've had whether it's with friends or family or um past romantic relationships they're they're changing their life 
you know it's more so their thoughts and i feel like they've gone in and they're going into this intuitive like to make a decision um about what they need to do in order to find their happiness in love and especially with you because i feel like perhaps this person for some um love was offered in this relationship but this person wanted to either just hang around their friends or just be uh, dating other people that kind of thing and it looks like they're changing um they're getting rid of those these others is what i'm hearing yeah and then healthy choices making healthy choices in love and in life self-love self-care and being happier so that's awesome that's the way to go all right let's get a couple other messages here so we could see what else you need to know is going on here for your weekend. And some of you are going to have like a girl's night out or a guy's night out over the weekend. Just going out with some friends or staying home and having friends over. Okay, so you definitely have a love offer coming in this weekend, which is awesome. You might be undecided about this. You might still be undecided. You might have received a love offer already and you're not sure if you want to pursue it. Or go forward um, also I feel like you will get some news maybe on Friday for some of you that um, you win a court battle or a court case or that's looking good and it's going in your favor um, there's definitely going to be a win-win solution and I do feel like um, also uh, there's some kind of like definitely some truth coming out as well um, and I feel like mostly on Friday it's there's going to be a heart to heart like there's going to be an opening up and somebody's spilling the beans over this weekend okay telling you some serious truths look you've got the wheel again so luck is on your side so I feel like things this weekend looks pretty good like I feel like you're going to get some answers to all the questions that you don't have answers to or that you've been waiting to hear um, about. And this is definitely karma working in your favor um, over this weekend. Okay, let's see what else you have for the weekend. Okay, you got a material wishes being granted. So um, if you something that you may have been wanting like a house or a car or anything material more money uh different more furniture uh, different furniture um you know anything that you've just been kind of like boy i wish i had one of those or you know i wish i wish i you know could afford to get something like that i feel like i don't know if you've been running some kind of genie lamp but there's definitely um one of those wishes being granted over this weekend that you will find out about okay some of you um, are very highly logical males and you're in the process of learning a new skill you might be learning something new over this weekend and that could pertain to your career um, maybe you're doing some studying over this weekend it could have something to do with school for some of you taking some tests um, learning something new like I was saying um, there's also like working on some crafts maybe you're building rocket ships or you're doing something in finances like with crypto or um, just money or learning something on the job um, there's definitely um, an opportunity for you to pick up some new skills and i feel like it's related to your profession that's going to be a benefit to your profession over this weekend okay and definitely the past is returning over the weekend okay um yeah so you know it is the venus retrograde still so um you can't deny that that energy is going to happen okay for a lot of you let me see what else you have okay i love it money in the bank good for you virgo and the past also is coming to pay you back some money that they owe you maybe you gave a loan or something along those lines something are you gonna find um, some money that was hidden from the past and it just kind of shows up you know um, you might not even know about it um, somebody might have left you some money or you find uh, you know 
a, a wad of money somewhere in a coat pocket of something or someone uh, excuse me in some way that you might have put there like four years ago something along those lines or something shows up in your bank account um something that you paid for and you never received the, the goods or the services and it's finally refunded to you or you're getting um um something from uh, what are, what are they calling that um like a like a um like a collective lawsuit where there's money coming back to you you're going to get like a share uh, for some of you, your stocks are going up on Friday and uh, something that you bought a long time ago. Um, somehow it gets into your bank account. Maybe you cash out something because it did really well or it does really well over this weekend. Okay. If ghosted or blocked. Okay. So, hmm. Oh, what's this? What is this? Oh, some of you are ghosting or you're blocking a direct honest female so this could be a friend or a sister or it's just a female could be a lover um now this would be uh an air sign okay so you know some of you might be blocking an air sign on friday as well um or you may get a message if you've unblocked that person what and they're asking you why you're ignoring them or why you ignored them or why you ghosted and vice versa okay um definitely coming right out with it let's see what else okay yeah there's a lot of this oh <laughs> some of you will like i do feel like some of you over the weekend are going no contact with a female definitely you're ghosting or you're blocking them you don't want to communicate with them you don't want to talk to them yeah you're done um and for others this person may be doing this to you and there may be some communication on friday um where this you know if you block someone they they find a way to get in they want to have a heart to heart and talk to you about like why you don't want to be with them or what's going on and they want to see you and they want the truth and they want to change so yeah you know i i kind of feel like um I'm not sure who it is. I, I don't feel real strong that it's you. I do feel like it's another person that's reaching out, wants to know, you know, why you why you have, even if you didn't actually block them, why you just went no contact or you're not responding, something along those lines. <laughs> even if someone did that to you, um, I feel like if you do it back, they're kind of pissed, but they want to talk to you about it. Yeah. Okay yeah hey why not let's see what else is going on here for you virgo and then i'm going to end out your reading um i've changed the format a little bit i'm going to be doing very specific readings every day of the week so keep an eye out for that you will see it in the thumbnail all right let's see what else do you need to know okay a release radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go good virgo that might be something that you need okay also, healing, old wounds, and childhood issues need revisiting. So some of you might be just letting go and saying, you know what, that's it, I'm done. I'm going to surrender, let go, and just start working on the healing energy for sure over this weekend. You also have, yeah, acceptance. Wow, Virgo, it looks like, um, I don't know if it's advice, but it looks like the biggest message here is if you want to heal, you're going to have to release and accept the situation for what it is. Um, letting go forces you to then redirect your energy back to yourself because you're not focused outward. You'll be focused inward. And then you can start looking at these old wounds and, you know, taking a look at some childhood stuff and putting some pieces together. Um there's also a friendship that is leading to more as well. So, you know, some of you might spend uh, or go out with some friends and then you might meet somebody while you're out and you become friends and start dating. Uh, I do feel that. Yeah. And that relationship can stand the test of time. Wow. Okay. Why not? Right. Okay. Leap of faith. It's safe to make the move you're considering. So Virgo. You got something going on in your heart and in your head, um, or another person does. Like I said, the fool is here. This is a leap of faith, making big changes. 
and also self-care clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting wow okay hmm so i feel like this is not reacting this is acting so before you make your next step make sure you're clear your energy field is clear you're open you're focused on yourself and your results and you're not doing anything for anyone um, you're not coming from a place of people pleasing or a desire to have a particular outcome you're just focusing on yourself um, and it, it's mostly self-care is mostly like getting rid of negative energies and allowing the sun to just kind of brighten you up during the day and feel happy and then do the things you need to do for yourself before it, it's almost like an energy of like kind of clearing everything out and then saying what do you want Virgo like what are you looking for and doing some of that energy work over this weekend like what is it that you want remember Noah and Allie what do you want what do you want you know and she's like I don't know and you know it, it, it this is the most important step you'll ever make your relationships especially um you need to know what it is that you want in your life um before even approaching any kind of relationship and then you need to be confirmed in that right um that way if anyone is not able to meet that need you don't waste time thinking in your head that somehow you could get them to change it doesn't work um, make it clear with yourself speak it out into the universe and the universe will bring that right back to you so what you speak out into the universe of positive energy is what comes back to you. If you speak out negative energy, that's what comes back to you. But anyway, I'm going to leave that there for you for the weekend. Looks pretty good. I hope that you guys have a great weekend. And I will be back here on Sunday for the members only live stream. Make sure if you want to become a member, you can just click to join my channel. And then you can pop in here on Sundays and get a uh, mini personal reading with me. You can also join my OnlyFans for the more spicy tarot readings that I can't do here on YouTube. The link, everything you need is below in the description box. And I will see you all back here on Sunday. All right, take care. Bye.